Hi everybody, welcome back. I have some new colors to show you and we're gonna try to do a swipe on this 12 inch round. I got all situated and realized I had no pillow paint. Haha. <laughs> okay, anyway, Color Art just released an Ancient Treasures Bling It set, which is mostly like metallic colors. They're super pretty, so I wanna show them to you. And then we're gonna use a couple um, in a swipe. We're also going to use Mana Crab Blue Boom Gel and Willy Wagtail Black Boom Gel. I've never used the blue one, so I'm excited. So, let me show you the colors. I'll try to be brief. Before I forget, Chloe, sit down. Sit down. Sorry, my dog's making all kinds of noise. Hopefully, sitting her down will work. So, the Blingit colors can be used in acrylic or in resin. So, don't forget. So, if, they, if you go to the Color Art website and you see the bling it section, this is what the logo or the label looks like. You can use any of the bling it line in either. So, and I always put a little dot on the top so I know what they look like. So I'm super excited to share these with you guys. <clears throat> some of them are colors that have been out before and some of them have been even more vamped up to be even more amazing. So, there's also now this very cool swipe tool with the Color Art logo. Price really well on the Color Art website, so don't forget to use the 20% code to save 20% on anything you buy. I have lots of these tools and this price is very competitive, so um, if you're looking to get a swipe tool, I love the square ones. This one's a big one, so I really love it. Um, so don't forget, you can save the 20% with Mandy1120. In addition to these cool little paddles that come with your set, which are so fun to use, um, Color Art now sells these cute little scoops. Look, they look like little shovels. They're so cute. Look at them. So cute. So I'm going to mix these colors with these tonight just to show you the cute little shovels. Okay, so I know that these videos are kind of long. We'll make sure the colors, so I'm going to try to be brief. So. One of the first colors is Indian Spice. I love Indian Spice. Look at that. So beautiful. Whew. And then this one is one of the ones we're going to use tonight. This is Scarab Beetle. So it's sort of like a mocha brown with a color shift. It shifts to like a green. Super pretty. I've always liked this color and the color shifting property. This is one of the ones that was on the site and was now included in this set. So really, really beautiful color. I love it. So we're going to use that one. Um, this one is called Crimson Lust and I think it is gorgeous. And even the camera is not quite showing you just how beautiful it really is. We're gonna use this one today. Ooh, let's wait till it's painting time. <clears throat> We're gonna use this one today too. So if I don't paint it ahead of time. And then this one is called Emperor's Gold. I love how bright and yellow it is. Look at that. It's pretty delicious. We're going to use this one today. And you know I'm trying to not use everything, but it's hard not to. This one is called Mystic Moth. Sorry, I'm not trying to... I'm on the fence about whether or not to include this one because I want the, the crimson to stand out, but I think we probably will include it. Look at that. So pretty. So we're putting it on here for now. We may come back and say, eh, maybe, maybe next one, right? <clears throat> and this one is called Moscatel. I 
It's beautiful. Those huge flakes of deliciousness. It's so pretty. And it's not even picking up half as beautiful as it really is because of the white light. So this one we might use. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I need to half cover up the ones I'm on the fence about because I left the little scoops in there. Where did you go? Okay. All right. And then this one is called Ember Fire. It's sort of like a, almost like a orangey, coppery color, but really more orangey. I love it. I'm leaning toward using this one today. You can see how I get myself in trouble with too many colors, right? I mean, who? how do you like leave them on the bench and don't let them play in the game? All right, so this one is called Forbidden Ruin. Another gorgeous color. I was torn between using this one and the Ember Fire. But just look at that. Woohoo! So gorgeous. <clears throat> Some of these would be really beautiful on a black base, too. I was torn which way to go. This one is called, let me get some more of these cute little shovels. This is Tiger's Eye, so it's a really beautiful sparkly copper. Super beautiful. I love that one. And Solar Flare. This is kind of a lighter gold with a ton of sparkle. So we're gonna use this little guy today. I figured with that really yellow gold and this, we'd have some good contrast. Look at that. So my thought with adding a little bit of black in the Mana Crab Blue is that they would be a nice complement, but also some contrast to these colors. And we have two more colors to show you. This one is called Milky Way. If you've ever seen the Chantilly Lace Prism Pour, this is very similar. It's very, very, very sparkly. I've used this one in resin before, and man, does it add a pop of sparkle to your piece. So beautiful. And Abalone Shell is the last one. Abalone Shell is sort of similar, only, um, well, it's not exactly similar. It's definitely not quite as big, chunky, sparkly, um, but it is a beautiful, like, interference sparkle with, it's just got finer, finer bits. So both so beautiful. I've also used abalone shell in plenty of pores. I, I love it. I love them all, of course. We may use Aurora. I'm on the fence because I have so many colors. But Aurora is a, um, it's a black pearl with a red interference. So if we use it, I'll use it toward the bottom or right underneath the cell activator. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna leave it hanging out here. I'm also thinking about possibly throwing in a tad, just a tad, of Amsterdam Blue Violet, just like a little bit for some contrast, um, and Australian Red Violet, which would give us contrast but also is in the same color family. So if I do, it will be very minimal, just enough to add a little color pop. Obviously we have a lot of color already. Sometimes, you know, if you know me at all, you know that this is probably a color I use more than any other paint color. So, let's get going because this video is going to be long if we don't. <sighs> I'm torn between which, if I should take one of these out. So my plan is to put a little bit of this down on the bottom. I want to go very easy on the black because I'm using a red-black cell activator which really just looks brown, looks like a dark brown. But I'm gonna put Scarab Beetle near those colors and 
if I use the mauve and the crimson, then I will separate them by some gold. Not that that entirely matters because when you get to swiping, you know, it all goes in there. But we'll, let's see what happens. I'm using a 12 inch cradled wood board from Loli Bethy, taped up in the back. It has been primed. I taped the whole back because I'm very messy. And I'm using Walmart Colorplay Satin. Sorry if I've been yelling because I'm right next to my phone so you guys can see, make, I can make sure you can see what I'm doing. Because most of the time when I show colors, I go to edit videos and I'm like, nobody could even see that. And I'm like, Arr. So, anyway, off we go. I always get nervous, like, am I gonna have a good painting day? <laughs> or is it gonna be one of those days? <clears throat> so I'm gonna just gently do that to get it to move around a little bit. I think I have plenty of pillow paint, but I don't wanna leave it all in the middle because if I do that, then when I go to spin, my design is gonna go bananas. We don't want bananas, we want some structure, right? So while I'm doing this, I get asked a lot how I prep my um, turner. So my turner is an aluminum cake spinner. It's 12 inches. It's on, it's on Amazon. It's listed in my Amazon shop below, which I'm slowly working on organizing, by the way. <clears throat> but it is there. <clears throat> it, because it's aluminum, it spins with a decent amount of force, as opposed to like a Lazy Susan, which you don't always get that effect with a Lazy Susan, um, as we have learned, because I have a 20 inch one that just doesn't quite get it done all the time. Um, but I put Glad Press and Seal down to protect the spinner, and then I use a 12 inch silicone mat to help hold the piece in place. Most of the time I don't need to put anything on there until it gets really wet with paint and then sometimes I need to secure it by putting some dry paint or something or just be really careful when I spin it. But That allows me to take off the paint skins and reuse them if I want. <clears throat> so we're going to start with Willy Wagtail Black. <clears throat> Again, I just kind of want this to be a background color. I don't really want it to show up at the top other than blending in, so I'm not trying to use a ton of it. just want the contrast it's going to give. Now we're going to use Mana Crab Blue. I'm going to put it right on top of it because I'd rather, if we're going to have one be dominant, I want it to be this one. Don't forget for Boom Gels, you can save 15%. Um, at Pixel Paint Design. She also carries Australian Floetrol and some other paints and cool stuff. So um, use my code Mandy15, also listed below. And she's a delight to work with. So if you're looking for someone here in the US to get those products from and get them shipped to you quickly, highly recommend going through Pixel Paint. So next we're gonna do Scarab Beetle. And I'm going to kind of put these to the side on purpose. Because if I stack them all on top of each other, they're just going to merge more or less when we swipe. Oh, no. That's going to spin off, so I'm not going to worry about that right now, what I just did. You may not even see it, but I just spilled some of this on this other side. All right, so we're going to put this guy over here. And then on the other side of the blue, I'm going to put this Mystic Mauve. I may end up adding a smidge more of the blue toward the top. Okay, Mystic Mauve. Now I'm using a bigger swipe tool today than I normally use, so I can make a wider, a wider band of color and not get myself into trouble, so that's good. Next up, we're going to put a little bit of this 
blue violet next to the scarab beetle. Not a lot, just kind of a thin line. This is from Amsterdam. I like it because it's like darker than a dioxazine purple, but it sort of is dioxazine purple. It's a little bit more blue. That's really the only difference. We'll move this guy to the side. And now we're gonna do um let's do this. What is this called again? Ember Fire. We'll do that over here next to the Mystic Mauve. I'm putting way too much paint on here. What else is new? So I hope everyone is doing well. I'm really tired today. Like with all my might, I wanted to paint and I was like, oh, I'm so tired. Sometimes it's like everything in you wants to paint. And then you think about all the stuff you have to drag out, put away. And then you're like, oh, I'm really tired, you know? Okay, so then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put crimson, this may not be the best place to put this, but I'm going to put Australian Red Violet on the other side of this guy. Now this color is a rich color, so a little will go a long way. I know I have more over here than over there. We'll just ignore that for now. And I'm going to put Emperor's Gold over here. Kind of on top of the blue violet and i may actually drizzle this one has spectacular sparkle in it y'all i may actually drizzle this one a little bit okay and then solar flare i'm going to kind of just put this one right on top of the red violet And I may drizzle that one a little bit throughout too. Just a little bit. Just a lot. Look at it. Okay. I'm not going to use Aurora because I think we already have a lot. I'm going to put a little bit more of the blue just right through here. And then we're going to do the Crimson Lust right on the top. The reason I did that is because the Crimson Lust is a much redder color than that Mystic Mauve, but when they're wet, it might be hard to tell how unique they really are. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that one kind of to the right here. I'm going nuts, as you can see. Don't tell anybody. Look at it, it's just gorgeous. Okay, now I just need to move my paints out of the line of fire. I think I'm pretty safe. So we're gonna use a Red Black Atelier Interactive Cell Activator. If you follow this channel, I love the blue one. I have brown black, which I've never used before, and I have red black, which I've never used before. Red black looks pretty brown black to me. To be honest so that's kind of what it's going to look like you move all this stuff out of the way we'll try our new fun little tool so we're going to load this up i mixed it earlier um, we're going to load this up on the palette knife and then swipe with it now when you're loading your palette knife you don't want a ton you just want kind of a thin layer, just like when you do a bloom, you don't want to put so much cell activator on there that you can't get your cells to come through, same concept. But my thought about this is it's like, it's almost like a really dark chocolate, which should go really well with these colors. So I hope. So I'm gonna start here, make sure you guys can see. So nervous, okay.
clean our tool. Oh my gosh, it's already gorgeous. It's already gorgeous and it hasn't even had time for cells to develop. Now this cell activator is thick. I usually use a three to one ratio. This is a heavy body paint, so you can really get away with four to one. But with swipes, you can get away with a little bit of a thicker cell activator because you're creating a little bit more momentum when you swipe. Plus you can tweak it, you can blow on it, you can move it around. Um, if you were to use it on a bloom, you'd just have to be aware that you might have to work a little harder. But it celled up magnificently, like tons of little cells and lacing, so no problems so far. I have a hair or something that must have fallen off of me that I have to, ah, I almost dumped my cell activator on the floor. Let me get my tweezers real quick so I can get this guy. I don't think that will be a problem, but what's that a hair? It's like paint boogers or something. I really don't think this one spot is going to be a problem, but let me take it off. So far, I love this. And the chocolate looking cell activator is perfect. It's almost like a little bit darker than a Van Dyke brown. This would also, I have some pillow paint that is a mist tint that's like a, um, it's like a very muted yellow, not bright yellow, hard to describe. We know our swipe tool works great. <clears throat> Let me see if I can zoom you in so you can see before we spin. And I love these little ghost cells that you get from the pillow. Move you a little bit closer for a second. Oh, sorry about the wobbles. Look at that. So beautiful. If you hear my dog groaning in the background, that's her way of agreeing that she likes it. Not really, but she's noisy. All right, let's see. I am probably going to embellish it a little bit. I just need to see how and where. Chloe, it's okay. I'm not going to fall on you unless you make me fall. All right. My little baby girl. My little puppies. Go lay down. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I don't know what happened here. And I have another little goober here. Chloe, can you please stop? She's like, I thought I was your baby. <clears throat> I love this right here, and it's the best stinking part, and it's gonna fly off. The best cells are always right at the edge. Popping bubbles. I don't, I'm going to spin it with a slow spin. You wouldn't believe the sparkle in this. And the complement of the boom gel was absolutely perfect. And the other colors are absolutely perfect. And I just can't believe that using all those colors actually worked out without being like, like every color works together. It's really cool. The only place, um, kind of want to make that a little more distinct right there. I do like to let, wreck a line in the middle sometimes, but I don't know that I'm going to do that with this one. Let's see. And I wish my stepdaughter was still here. She would love this one. Now, of course, I'm about to lose the best part on the edges on both sides. I love this. I think this is spectacular. I just love the colors. They're beautiful, like fall colors. Um, I have paint all over me because I'm trying to keep paint from flying everywhere. But like the little tiniest bit of the blue violet we used and the red violet with those uh, boom gels just created some amazing contrast. And I love, I love these pillow cells. 
I love them. I think they're so fun. They almost make it look like you're introducing cloud pours into blooms, you know, even though this is a swipe, not a bloom per se. I kind of want to open it up a little bit, but I don't want to ruin the composition. So I'm just going to gently tilt up and down side to side from your angle. Man, I'm glad I got up and did this. I was so tired and I didn't want to. Like I wanted to, but I didn't, you know, I'm sure you guys understand that. And even that, I'll show you in a second, even that place where I think I'm just going to spin this a couple times and leave it alone because what's opening up is the part that I kind of corrected already. So let me clean my hands. I'm going to fix this again. Give me a second. I just got paint on my wipes. Cause it's going to open up a little bit when we spin and I don't want to lose the composition by going side to side. It does look a little bit Batman-ish, but that's okay. Let me see. We'll spin it and I'll give you a little close. One more spin, maybe two. And we're going to call it good. You just really want to make sure that there's enough paint off so it doesn't really wiggle when you try to maneuver it. Because if it does, then it might crack from too much paint. But I think that this is probably okay. Give it just a big, couple baby spins. Once you get to the point where you're really just spinning off to make sure you have enough paint off, don't spin wildly. Spin gently. It's not a time that you want to spend wildly because you worked really hard to get a good composition and you're going to lose it. If you spin like crazy, you're going to lose it. So you just want to gently spin. So as we're spinning, it's opening up just a little bit, but oh man, the sparkle in this is intense, you guys. So let me give you a close up and then I'm going to get the drips off and put this little guy away to dry for the night. There is still some paint coming off, but it's not really moving a lot when I spin it. So let me clean my hands and I will bring you down for a close up. Super excited. I love the way this turned out. Beautiful colors as usual. And you can see every single one of them. All right, everybody. So sorry about the shadows, but here we are. Look at that sparkle. I love these little cloudy pillow cells. Look at that. You see how the boom gel? played so well with these colors and that sparkle is intense look at that see where that crimson color is showing whoa and some more cute little ghosty cells that mana crab blue color looks like an indigo if you were to compare it to a color it would look like a an indigo or an endanthrine blue meets an indigo super beautiful I love this part right here where that created like that turquoise I could not be more happy with this, so I'm super glad that I got past the exhaustion for a second. And this one will be available for purchase after it gets resined. You're more than welcome to reach out before it goes on Etsy. It will take a while to get there. Um, my email is below. My husband or I will get that email and reach out to you. But super, super beautiful. Don't forget to use that code to get your boom gels and your color art. Thank you so much for everyone for watching. And um, if you are subscribed already, thank you so much. If not, I would love it if you would join us. Give us a like and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Thank you again. Appreciate you guys so much. I'm so mesmerized by this right now. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye.